Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this video, I will be sharing my top five favorite tools for Premiere Pro that will bring automation to your editing workflow and make your life way easier. Trust me, after watching this, all you'll be thinking about is that robots are slowly taking over our jobs. And apparently, according to this website called willrobotstakemyjob.com, if you're a film or video editor, you need to start worrying. Now let's not panic, that's a much more complicated topic for a separate video altogether. And since the upcoming content in this video is meant to help you save time, let's get right into it. The first automation tool we have on the list today is a Premiere Pro extension called Beat Edit, which as the name implies, is meant to make it easier for you to edit a bunch of clips to the beat of your music track. Typically, whenever I wanted to edit a music-based video, my first step was usually to create beat markers manually by tapping the M key on the beats during playback and I always had to go back and refine the marker positions. But now with beat edit, you can simply load music of your choice and it will auto-detect the beats and generate clip or sequence markers. The markers can then be used as a guide for manually trimming clips or for automatically assembling a music edit using Premiere Pro's Automate Sequence feature. Now obviously this only works well with songs that clearly mark the peaks like mainstream hip-hop, dance, techno and other type of music that has clear hits. However, I still find beat edit extremely useful, especially if you're just a beginner looking to create a quick edit or even a professional who wants to speed up his process. Okay, moving on to the second automation tool, Time Bolt, which is designed to automatically get rid of long pauses and dead air sections from video and audio files. Time Bolt is technically a standalone tool, but you can either let it process the file and give you the final rendered content, or you can also export the cuts as a Premiere Pro XML project, which you can then import to your timeline. Time Bolt can come in handy mainly in projects such as online courses, both video and audio podcasts, gaming videos, and a lot more. Pretty much any time you're trying to quickly achieve fast-paced content where removing silence is crucial to keep the output less draggy and as engaging as possible. And if you've ever dealt with hours of footage, you sure know that manually getting rid of empty dead air while retaining the parts that you actually need is extremely time consuming. Thankfully, the creators of Time Bolt claim that the algorithm can auto detect silences and jump cut an hour of video in just 48 seconds. The third automation tool we have on the list today caused a lot of hype and excitement since it's been introduced around a year ago. Auto Reframe is a feature native to Premiere Pro that converts existing clips or sequences into different aspect ratios, all automatically while keeping the main subject within the frame. In the past, we could do this manually through cropping, then applying motion keyframes to change the position of the video in the frame. But now with auto reframe, you can automatically reformat your video for another aspect ratio and at the same time, make sure the action of the scene is never out of frame. A very typical reason for this would be to create a snippet out of a landscape video and then post it as an Instagram story. Yet another native tool to Premiere Pro Scene Edit Detection uh, is a feature that uses Adobe Sensei technology to find the cuts in a previously edited video. This is a great tool to use when you're looking to make adjustments on an old video that's already been exported and you no longer have access to the original Premiere project. Now I'd like to mention that this is a newly added feature and there are reports of it running a bit slow and it's also still not 100% accurate. Keep in mind that it works a lot better on hard cuts and not dissolved transitions. It still remains a highly anticipated feature though and it will definitely be improved over time. The fifth tool I would like to share with you guys today is definitely my all-time favorite. Pluralize is a powerful plugin from Red Giant that analyzes the audio from your cameras and audio devices and automatically syncs them up in seconds, even if you didn't use clapboards or timecode. Now, of course, Premiere Pro does have its own native auto sync feature. I'm convinced that Pluralize is way more accurate in cases where you're shooting from different angles, certain events, including weddings, conferences, music videos, 
or even scripted movies. I really believe it maximizes the workflow and has a faster setup with fewer complications and much more efficiency. Although this one is still currently in early access only, I believe it's worth to mention Premiere's new speech-to-text feature, another tool powered by Adobe Sensei. This new feature will automatically create a transcript from any video sequence and then it will generate automatic captions on the timeline mirroring the pace of spoken dialogue. Before this was introduced, captions in Premiere Pro had to be created manually and the panel was very clunky and the workflow was very tedious. This combination of speech to text and the new captions workflow will definitely make captioning faster and easier for social content and any video that requires subtitles. Software like these can save you ton of time and while some of it still doesn't always work perfectly, the technology has gotten a lot better in the recent years and will only keep on improving. That being said, I hope you guys find value in this video and end up using some of these tools. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give this video a like. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial about any of these uh, tools and features, do let me know as well. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons so you can get notified. Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.